Hello guys, welcome to another Urban Bike and Hour review. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing another beer from the Williams Brothers. Don't be surprised, you're going to see that come up uh, quite a lot on this channel for the next five or six reviews I think. Um, anyway, this is another one from them. And I don't think, because uh, a lot of the beers that I bought seem to have already been in the supermarket, usually because I'm not looking properly and uh, I end up ordering them from the actual brewery. So... But anyway, this one I don't believe is in the supermarket. I know Ricky, uh, the cider drinker, tends to let me know which ones are in the supermarket. Much to my um, disappointment, because I think, oh yeah, I've got an exclusive here, but no, you haven't. Anyway, this is the Williams Brothers Chillax IPA. And this comes in at 4.3. 4 Why do they keep... That's not an IPA, is it? Let me know in the comments if pe if people agree with that. Um, it says cold brewed to max out the contact time with hops and amplify the aroma during fermentation. This deliciously laid black laid black. This deliciously laid back gluten free IPA delivers chilled out vibes to the max. I've noticed a couple of these beers have been gluten free. Maybe I'll pick up a gluten free range. Um, so yeah, let's give this a go. Yeah, because I always, every time I, I think of an IPA, I think of like 6% and above really. But then again, I like, I like Brewdog's Punk IPA and I think that's only 5.4. So maybe it's the 5% range, you know, that's when you should be calling something an IPA. Um, beer in a glass, straw coloured, quite a big white head. Um, yeah, let's give it a, give it a sniff. Sweet fruits, oranges, maybe a slight sort of toffee note as well, but very, very faint. But mostly citrus fruits, I'm getting like oranges and lemons. Right, let's give this a go. Cheers. I was waiting for the finish, yeah. Yeah, it's got a bit of a lingo on that finish. That's really that's really pleasant. So the initial taste is quite watery. Um, as you're gulping it, you're not really getting much of a of a of a flavour. Um, but then once you sort of pause for a bit, then the you know it's like your tongue wakes up a bit and you get um, the grapefruit, not grapefruit, or oranges and lemons, those sort of notes. You're getting those fruits coming through. But then the reason I was pausing, because there was a bitterness and it was like creeping up. And I thought, oh, I can't get much bigger than what it's going to be. And um, and I think it's pretty good. It, it doesn't hang around for too long, but it does creep up and then it gives you a nice sort of, sort of, bite to the finish which is really good because I think that's a I think that's a sign of a good beer you know it, it quenches your first and nothing quenches your first more than a nice bitter finish um, let's give it another go yeah straight away you just you just get those um fruity notes but they're very very mild and laid back and then that bitterness like now I can feel it it's just creeping in and it reaches a, a certain sort of crescendo and then it just flats, flattens out and then it's and then you just left wanting another gulp which is exactly what you want in a beer I suppose um, that is a good standard I wouldn't call it an IPA but that's a good I'd call that like a golden owl or a powwow that's a nice powwow I'm going to call it for what I, what I see. And um, yeah, 4.3% Chillax IPA, 7 out of 10. Decent beer, nice summer beer. I'll definitely buy it again. Um, probably if it was on offer. But yeah, nice beer, 7 out of 10. Enjoy your evening. Cheers.